What's going on, everybody? Xavier Porter, Brooklyn. Fight Shoot the Five. You already know what it is. Back at it with another one. Right now, I'm just chilling in the cut. I was thinking about this Wilder situation after reading an article that he uh, had with a boxer scene. Apparently, I don't know if it was a press release it was sent to everybody because the, the same quotes was an everybody article from Dan Raphael, from Keith Eidick, <laughs> to, to Lance Pugmire. You know, it was the same. It, it, it seemed to me it was the same article. You know what I'm saying? Um, however, this costume situation, yo, come on, bro. <laughs> yo, this costume situation, fam, like, seriously? All right. This is not a shot at Deontay Wilder, right? But, brother, you paid for the costume. You put up the 60 Gs. It's your costume. You, you you put up the 60 Gs to walk out to celebrate Black History Month in honor of African Americans. Salute you all day for that. Now, if the, if the, if the uniform, costume, robe, whatever have you, added so much weight to your body, did you test it out before you got in the ring? You feel me? Did you like kind of test it out before, like a week in advance? You didn't. You didn't just like you know how you say put it on that night. You didn't. You didn't take a walk in the park with that. That that. You didn't take a walk in the park with that robe, that heavy outfit, that uniform per se. That everybody's calling it the night of the fight. You had to have tried that on previously. I think they had to have fitted you for that, and you paid sixty thousand dollars for that. You could have walked to the ring butt ass naked. <laughs> it would have been loose as a goose. You could have walked in the room with some basic trunks on. It'd been loose as a goose. With the celebration of African American history on the side when you came out. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. And I'm just peeping I'm just like peeping the the quote unquote excuses that everybody's saying. Oh, Wilder said this. Wilder said that. He said the suit was over something some odd pounds and added a lot of extra weight on him and it bothered him and hindered him in the first round on. He couldn't fight. He, he wasn't the same Wilder. Oh, he got hit up. The, he got hit behind the ear. He was bleeding out the ear. Some people say his eardrum was busted. He had a, his equilibrium, you know what I'm trying to say, was off. Some people say, oh, it was on. He was just trying to figure out where he was. Oh, man. This Wilder Fury fight. And then, the, then to say the Mark, the Mark Breland shit. Like, come on, man. <laughs> then they say, oh, Mark Breland conspiring against me? I got to think about that. I gotta, I, I'm going to Africa next month. When I come back from Africa, I'm going to think about my decision. Now people telling me he, he already made his decision and Mark Breland is out of the team. Okay. All right. You must think that you got enough money to go get a homeboy to train you. Sugar Ray or, or, or Sugar 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 Hill Stewart. I don't know what, what he's going to do differently. Because, you know, when the fight started, Fury just came across the ring and smacked you. You just came across really wild with you. It set the tone early. You had you Wilder had his shots. He had a couple. He had some. You know, some some. It was some parts in the fight where he was landing some right hands, but but what Wilder? I mean, but Fury was still like kind of controlling certain parts of the fight. His ring generalship was there. It's phenomenal. His understanding of reaching distance and pushing tenacity and drive, knowing that Wilder couldn't get to him at a certain punch that he had to throw. You know, I don't get it, man. A lot of negatives. A lot of negatives on Wilder. A lot of people talking bad about him. A lot of people calling him out. I'm just, I'm just calling out certain things that I'm not in agreement with. That I'm hearing is coming from his camp. I'm not calling him out because he lost a fight. 
I'm not calling him out for the way he lost the fight. That's I want people to really understand that. I want people to really grasp that. Because you got a lot of people out here are just hating. They are hating on Wilder because they wanted they wanted to see him lose. I never wanted to see Wilder lose. I wanted to see the best man win on Saturday night. And the best man won on Saturday night was Fury. And I actually predicted Wilder going into the fight. I actually predicted Wilder to pull out the victory in the seventh round. And lo and behold, it was Fury who pulled out the victory in the seventh round. Um, so again, I have no no malice or no no anger, no frustration in, in anything in my heart towards the other Wilder. But I will say this: if if you're watching everybody in camp, or if everybody's watching you in camp. You got to come out even better, even more spectacular during fight day, fight night, whichever have you. Because people are going to expect that from Mr. 41 and 0 with 40 KOs. Mr. I defended my world championship title 10, 10 times in a row. People are going to expect the best of the best out of you each and every time you, you step in that ring. And you present greatness. Again, you present greatness each and every time you step in that ring. I really agree with, um, I forgot who said it. George, it was, um, not George Foreman. I forgot who said it. But it was, it was a fighter. Let me think, who the hell said it? Uh, oh well. I don't care. If you hear, hope, I don't know if you can hear the trains going by. That's New York City shit right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're going to tell everybody in the world, oh, I'll fight because cause, cause, oh, I just can't. I just can't. I can't, man. I just can't. <laughs> I can't, bro. I can't. Just be like, yo, I took a bad L. I took an L because he caught me. I took an L because he hit me over here. He hit me over here. Don't say you took an L because your trainer or your second in command threw the towel in, in the middle of the seventh round and round that you was getting physically beat up on. Don't 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 do us like that. Shoot the fire, Brooklyn fights, Xavier Porter, Better Shower Peace.